Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Defining Wellness Confab. I'm Denise O'Malley, the founder of You Define Wellness, who is bringing this to you. And we're going to do something fun in this one. Um, I don't know about you, but I love watching cooking shows. Um, this isn't going to be the Food Network uh, cooking show. This is the You Define Wellness Network cooking show. Mm -hmm. And with me today is one of our network providers, Michelle Jolly with Healthy Horizons Coaching in Madison, Wisconsin. And she is cooking up lunch, and I am so bummed that I'm a thousand miles away from her and I can't enjoy it. So Michelle, I am turning it over to you now. Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us today. And um, we're going to talk about cooking a quick, easy, healthy lunch or dinner um, that you could do anytime, bring it to work cool or uh, do it just before you're going to make it. Uh, we're going to make uh, turkey patties, uh, lemon massage kale, and some quinoa. Um, but don't get scared off if some of those things aren't things you typically eat. Uh, just try it once and see if you like it the way that I'm going to cook it. So um, we'll start with the quinoa. Uh, since that's a little over the 20 minutes that we're going to take here today, I started that cooking already. So what um, quinoa comes in a couple different uh, colors. So this is the one that I picked. It's more of a a brownish color that comes in more of a cream color, but all taste the same. And that, uh, the fresh quinoa, when it's grown, it comes with a natural coating on it that is kind of a bitter or soapy taste when, if it's not taken off. So some people might be a little sensitive to that with their uh, digestion and the taste of it. Um, a lot of times when it comes out of the box or in bulk, it is already rinsed off, but I like to just uh, rinse it off just in case. So I use a small strainer for that and just rinse it under the water. Um, and for the quinoa, it's pretty easy ratio. It's two to one water to quinoa. You put that in a pan, uh, get it cooking, um, bring it to a boil, and then turn it off to, or not off, to turn it to low or medium to simmer, uh, low to simmer. Um, so we have that going for 15 minutes, and then after we get that done, we'll take it off for five and let it sit, and then we can fluff it and be ready. Um, so while that's cooking, then we'll move on to the burgers. Uh, you could use any type of meat you want. Um, I'm using turkey meat because uh, I tried to vary up my uh, different meats that I eat throughout the week. Uh, I've done this ahead a little bit to. Um, kind of show you the different stages, but it's really easy just putting a pound of turkey meat, ground meat, in a pan. And then um, these are the spices that I kind of created the turkey burger flavor from. So basil, which is really good for anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antibacterial, um, oregano, and that again, antioxidant, uh, antibacterial, good for the immune system. Uh, thyme, and that's anti-inflammatory antioxidant also improves circulation. And then sage is another good one for um, lowers of blood glucose, uh, promotes dental and skin health, and also anti-inflammatory. So those are the spices I'm going to use, plus the sea salt. And the sea salt that I'm using uh, right now is a Baja Gold, which I think you can get that on Amazon uh, if you don't have a supplier near you. But that has the most uh, minerals in it from the Baja region of California. Um, but you can use any sea salt, Himalayan or um, Celtic sea salt are all good sea salts to use. Um, so, but those, I, one thing to give you a shortcut, I like to uh, have two containers. So like the next time that I cook it, I am prepared ahead so I, create two separate um, dishes, and then I just measure out one ounce of each and put it in both of those, one with a closed container that I can uh, save for the next time, and then one that I put in the meat. Just fold that in the meat, um, and then kind of divide out into four sections. Also kind of to make it quick and easy, I don't make perfect little patties, so you can just have a whole blob of that, and that could be one that you put however many you're making on a pan. So I just put that, I'm using a toaster oven. Um, 
a little easier for cooking for one. You can do it there. So we'll get that in the oven. Hey, Michelle, quick question. Um, on the herbs that you're putting in, how much are you putting into a pound? Uh, about one ounce or one uh, teaspoon of each and then one teaspoon of sea salt. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Um, so then with this leftover, another thing about this meal is you're going to have leftovers for another meal. So you're going to be uh, cooking once and you'll be able to eat two or three times. That's a your your decision. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a couple leftover uh, deli containers. So you can just put that one of these in there and then put it, um, depending if you started with this frozen or not. If it was frozen, you really don't want to freeze it again. So eat it up a little quicker, but otherwise you can put it in the fridge or the freezer for next time. Um, so you can put it in a couple different containers for storage. Um, so those are good for the next meal. I'm gonna set this aside. Um, all right. We got that cooking. Any questions so far otherwise? Nope, I'm following along. All right. Um, so then we can move on to the kale salad. So this is the kale that I'm using today. It's a curly kale. Um, there's a lot of different types of kale, um, but this is the one that I chose today. It's nice and, like it's kind of pretty, uh, could almost be a flower base. So, an easy way to do this is just pulling off the sides and then I take, you don't want the stem in the salad. Um, it's really hard to eat. I cook with it when I saute the vegetables, but when you're making a salad, I take it off. So I just easily strip it off like that and then you rip it up. Now, why is kale all the rage? What, what are the health benefits of it? Ooh, kale is really good for you. Uh, it's actually the most uh, nutrient dense food. Um, out there that you can eat. It has a lot of vitamin K, C, B6, zinc, um, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, uh, prevents cancer actually, and it's mood boosting. So a lot of good qualities to the kale. So I ripped a little before, um, so we have a full bowl. So we use about a bunch or half a bunch, depending yeah. how many people want to feed. This is, yeah, then how large you want your salads. But uh, so I have that all ripped up. Then we can throw some olive oil on there, about a tablespoon. Put that in there. And then um, olive oil, another thing that I do with clients is um, work on finding ways to reduce the toxins in their mm -hmm. home. And a lot of people use lotions and things that have toxins that they might not think about. So um, when I'm cooking, I like to just, if I am using olive oil, besides uh, using every little drop, that I just rub it in on my hands after I um, am done um, with that. So we're gonna dig in here and massage this kale. Okay, so now why are we massaging the kale? So the kale will, uh, the, massaging it with the olive oil will break down the cell walls. And so that'll be softer to eat. Okay. Uh, a lot of people might not like kale because of how hard it is. Mm -hmm. So, and what about, does it also do something for the bitterness of kale? Yeah, it'll um, minimize the taste okay. of bitterness too, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's a great thing for you to have your kids do when you're cooking dinner. <laughs> well, with that, get in there. Yeah. So just put that on your arms or wherever. If you're a little dry, uh, and that'll be good. And then um, we also want to put some sea salt. Oh, my hands are all sticky. Um, you can just do to taste uh, about a teaspoon or whatever your taste buds like. And then we'll also put some lemon juice in there. Um, to save time, I'm, I just haven't, and I didn't want to have all, half a lemon just sitting there today. So I just have some lemon juice that's already squeezed. That'll be another way to speed up your meal, but you could do fresh squeezed, it's always good. Um, and about a tablespoon is what I add. And that's all there is to the making the salad, huh? Yeah, stir it up. You haven't cut a single thing. Yeah. 
that's all already. Um, I think we're pretty set getting everything cooking. Quinoa is getting close to done. Um, now let's talk about, can we talk about quinoa real quick? Sure. Um, I use quinoa all the time. I absolutely love it. But for those who are, are unfamiliar with quinoa, what exactly is it? Quinoa is a grain. It's um, a gluten-free grain that's full of a lot of protein. So if you don't want to have the turkey burger along with your meal, that would even be enough to have um, some good protein for your lunch. Mm -hmm. So get a lot of good protein with the quinoa. It's the easiest thing in the world to cook. I mean, it, yeah. 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 And you can, um, when you cook it, I like to make a real big batch of it and then I can divide it out and have it for different meals and have it in different flavors. Uh, some people like it a little, can do it for a sweet breakfast type of thing. Mm -hmm. could berries and cinnamon um, and vanilla extract in with it and kind of mix that together and have a nice sweet yeah. dish. Or um, like today, I'm going to put it, put some uh, more savory things in it. So uh, I have some frozen veggies, which is another way to do a quick, quick meal. Uh, fresh is best, but um, if you want to do it a little quicker, I just have some frozen peas and carrots that'll add a little flavor to it. So um, when that's all done, we'll get that going. Um, and, you, and you could put that quinoa in the salad too, if you really wanted to, right? True. Yeah. Yeah. So um, like a one pot meal. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so you could also put like in the quinoa or in, um, or actually in the salad too. Um, so like some pumpkin seeds, uh, onions, scallions, uh, just get those all in there and the quinoa, um, other peppers or carrots, just raw. Um, and then add a little olive oil and vinegar and we're all set. Wow. Yeah. Um, and I was also going to mention kind of about um, just your kitchen and if you're changing over to a healthy lifestyle and you're kind of get overwhelmed by all this cooking and everything, keeping your kitchen really clean and free of clutter kind of helps mm -hmm. leave for healthy cooking. You don't have to worry about looking around things and you can just have the things you need. Yeah. These typical things that you use could be out on the counter. Um, like knives and spatulas and things, but yeah. Well, so tell us a little bit about your business. What do you do besides a cooking demonstration for us? Yeah. Uh, well, I work with clients um, to kind of make small changes to their food or lifestyle, depending what their goals are, and to create really a life that they love um, more than just, oh, I'm going to be on a diet or I got to deal with this issue. We just want to make small changes so they can figure out and just have a uh, enjoy their life so um a lot of times i'll meet with people for six months or so for the initial program and then we'll look at um, their health history where where they want to go with their health so um our chemo's done we'll get that just a second um we'll set it for five more minutes Take it off the heat. Um, so we'll uh, yeah, set goals in the initial session and then meet every other week and make small action steps every session. Uh, see how those go. It's not you failed or whatever if you didn't get them done. Maybe it just wasn't the right uh, action step for you. So we figure out new steps to take and work towards your goals and kind of check in every three months and see how those are going. And you have recipes, including these recipes, on your website, correct? Yes, yes. You can find all these recipes on my website. I have a few there. I don't have everything, but um, a lot of times I'll work with people to find recipes that they enjoy. They're, maybe they want the quick, easy recipes, or they like cooking. They just need some new variety in their meals, and we can come up with meal planning and stuff like that. What is the one thing you tell your clients to cut out of their diet now? Well, a lot of times um, I work with clients and 
more it's uh, trying to add stuff in. So um, crowding out is kind of what it's a term that we use. So mm -hmm. if you are trying to get so many good things in, you kind of automatically push out the bad things. So make it more of a positive. Yeah. So try to get more water, more vegetables, um, getting your minerals and everything in uh, in your diet. Um, but then if they do have, like some of the things that if you had to choose things, maybe a sodas or the high sugar items, sugar is involved in a lot of health issues. So um, getting, limiting the sugar is mm -hmm. best. Yeah. Yeah, that's a very good point. Awesome. Our timing is perfect on all of this because everything's starting to come together here. Yeah. Yeah. So how long have you been on this health journey? Um, well, I've always been interested in natural healing. I haven't had any major crises myself. My dad was sick when I was younger and kind of introduced me to the natural healing world. Really? Um, That's awesome. Path. And so I was exposed to it there and uh, we always had a fresh garden at home and taking vitamins and um, actually avoiding, we don't have, didn't have a microwave at home, so I didn't really learn to have a microwave growing up mm -hmm. uh, to cook with that. So yeah, kind of been interested and then started, found a way that, to get into the industry. Yeah. Now, do you grow your own vegetables or do you um, buy them at the grocery store? Uh, a lot of times in the winter, I'll buy at the co-op, local co-op, mm -hmm. and then um, we have a really wonderful farmer's market in downtown Madison. And since we have an apartment and a small porch, I grow a few herbs on the porch, but we get a community supported agricultural share that um, we share with someone else. But um, that, yeah, it's a wonderful variety of different foods and gets you to try new things and they give you recipes and things with that. So. Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, I love this time of year with all the farmers markets uh, absolutely and hitting them versus what I'm getting at the grocery store and you walk into the grocery store and it just looks so it pales in comparison uh, to getting the fresh uh, f straight from the farm fruits and veggies. Yeah. Yeah, and I like to get most of my as much as I can organic mm -hmm. just as you know, mm -hmm. you know pesticides and things but if you're on a budget you could do at least there's um do Meats are best um, organic, grass-fed, free-range kind of thing. And then also, if you um, know of the uh, the Dirty Dozen, mm -hmm. list that um, you want to get those uh, organic if you are on a budget of which yeah. vegetables and fruits to get on. Yeah, explain the Dirty Dozen for those who don't understand what that means. Yeah, so the Environmental Working Group uh, does tests all tons of food um, every year and they figure out which foods have the most pesticides on them mm -hmm. and so they make a new list it's similar each year but um, then they have the 12 that are the most pesticides typically on them and then the 12 that have the least so um, yeah those are, that's the way you can kind of decide if you're going back and forth on which things to get organic if you can't afford them all and you can just search for that on the internet it's going to be all over the place yeah. Yeah, yeah. Put in dirty dozen or that kind of yeah. Cool. Find that cool. or email me and then I can send you the link too. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so where are we on lunch? I think we're almost ready. Our quinoa's ready. So we'll get that. Um the burger's ready. Get our quinoa out. I love the shortcuts that you're sharing with us, I have to tell you. Oh, okay. You know, for one for one person here who is not the best cook in the world, nor do I enjoy it very much, I love the shortcuts. Yeah. And everybody's busy these days and has full schedules, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you've got to eat on the run. And, you know, you're doing this in 20 minutes. You know, yes, you had the grocery shopping to do, but, man, you're just, it, it's a quick meal. It's faster than standing in line at a fast food place. Right, yeah. And then you and have driving over. Next day too. So we're just put the key one here and I'm stirring up the veggies. You can kind of see, I like a lot of veggies in mine, so you can add a little extra. I did uh, half a cup to about a cup of quinoa. Mm. So they're a little frozen still, but give them a couple minutes and with the hot quinoa, they'll melt up. 
Mm -hmm. um, and then some olive oil. Put a tablespoon of that. And then some more sea salt. Love my sea salt and olive oil. <laughs> yeah, it's a good combination. Yeah. So just stir that up. And that's ready. Put that on your plate. Get the burger out. You're making me really hungry, I want you to know. <laughs> Good. We'll get a little salad. And there's your meal. All set in 20 minutes. <laughs> that is fantastic. Yeah. What else would you like to add before we move into the ending here? Um, yeah, if you have any questions how any of this was made, prepared, uh, feel free to email me. Uh, contact information on my website that's below the window here. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. Absolutely. Um, I, you did a terrific job. And I know the challenges you had with uh, that were outside of your control today that were going on in Madison, Wisconsin. So I, I really appreciate you punting on this and being able to deliver because it, it's a fantastic presentation. I appreciate that. So for all of you watching this, I, I want you to know Michelle is one of the providers in the Udefine Wellness Network. And a lot of people don't know who Udefine Wellness is, so I want to explain what that is. Uh, before we jump into anything else here at the end. And we are a network of hundreds of health and wellness professionals across the United States, and we are growing. And our directory is so different than any other online directory you might find on the internet because we actually vet our providers. We're doing a criminal background investigation. We're looking at their reputation. We're looking at any disciplinary actions and stipulations against licensures. And so while it shouldn't be the end all be all for your own search, you know that you're actually working with someone who has passed our check, but you know you have to do your own due diligence before deciding to work with anyone. And with a network of professionals, we can do some things like create an employee benefit program for the workplace so employees can access services like Michelle's and have it be partially employer paid. We have an education catalog full of topics for the workplace, for lunch and learns, for community groups, for school groups, for any time you need a health and wellness educator, we've got the speakers for you worldwide. Um, we also have a program that's launching during this Defining Wellness Confab called the Healthy Living Savings Card. This is a discount card. Um, you'll receive a card, and when you show that to one of the providers in the Udefined Wellness Network who accepts it, they will offer you a discount on products and services at their place of business. It's debuting now. Um, until August 1st, it's available at half price, so it's $49.50, it's a one-time fee. Share it with your family, share it with your friends, share it with your next door neighbors, it doesn't matter. Anybody who presents it will receive a discount. And just go to our website at udefinewellness.com to find out more about this, any of these um, products that we have. And while you're there, take a look at the Holistic Healing Workplace Crisis Support Team. This is something that we are creating. It's a spinoff. It will be as a nonprofit organization. And we're using the Defining Wellness Confab to help raise funds for the creation of this. And what it is, is a team that can go into the workplace and our goal is to have it free for employers who need to access it. So when crisis hits the workplace, that we can be there to be of service because we know that bringing in the counselors and the psychotherapist isn't enough because emotional trauma and physical trauma will reside in the body if left untreated. And it can manifest days, weeks, months, and years later. And so we are building this team to be able to go into the community wherever we serve and be of service to those who need our help most. And finally, this is how you reach Michelle. So I have her phone number here. I have her website. You know, remember there's what the website has some of those uh, recipes on it. Find out how to, um, cook what she did for us today in about 20 minutes. It was kind of amazing. So um, I appreciate that. So finally, Michelle, thank you for joining me in today and doing this. Um, I'm inspired. Yeah, great. Absolutely yeah. inspired. And for those who are joining us live and for those who are um, joining us uh, wherever you have found this recording, uh, it is posted on YouTube and other places. 
that we thank you for joining us as well. And we invite you to, you know, search for you to find wellness at YouTube, go to our YouTube channel, follow us. We've got 49 sessions we're putting on board uh, with this Defining Wellness Confab, but we have tons of other videos that are on there that we've been doing for the past couple of years. So if you're looking for health and wellness education, man, we've got it. And we thank all of you for joining us today. Any final thoughts, Michelle? Uh, eat as many vegetables as you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. good, good advice for all. Everyone have a blessed day.